Welcome back. Today I have a Walmart fall haul, my very first ever on this channel. I'll be honest. I, uh, whenever I would think of like Walmart fashion, it just like, it didn't pique my interest until recently I started looking online and I was like, you know what, that stuff is really cute. But the ultimate test is the wear test. You want to make sure that the material is good. You want to make sure that the fit is good. And if it checks those boxes, then that's when I start incorporating that retailer into my wardrobe. So I was really interested in seeing how Walmart fashion had evolved from years ago. So a little backstory, I used to work at a bank that was inside of Walmart. So this is that same company that I was working in corporate. But when I first started with the company, I worked as a teller, eventually became assistant manager and manager, but the banks were inside of Walmart. So I am very, very familiar with Walmart because for many, many years while I worked inside of a Walmart, during breaks or like if I just needed to go to the restroom, I'd always like beeline it to like the fashion section or I would go to home and see like what was new in Walmart. And honestly, the fashion was just not there. And I'm talking about maybe 10, 15 years ago, but as of recently, since they've been partnering up with a different designers, I feel like the clothing and the style of it has really been elevated enough so where I was like something that I would incorporate into my wardrobe. You know, my wardrobe here is usually very neutral, a really understated classic. Now I did get a couple of pieces that have some prints, which is really unusual for me, but I was highly, highly surprised how beautiful the prints were. So if you want to see my latest Walmart haul, then just keep on watching. Okay. So as you can see at the right behind me, really beautiful, beautiful colors rich and deep and moody, perfect for fall. So while a lot of these pieces are really more pre-fall, they are going to be able to transition really easily and seamlessly into your fall wardrobe. So even the dresses, there's some that are sleeveless. You can definitely just make it fall appropriate by throwing on like a, a cute little jacket or shawl. And then as far as the footwear, a lot of these pieces I styled with sandals or something that I would wear right now when it's hot and bajillion degrees here in Houston. But for fall and winter, you can easily transition it with a nice like knee high boot. I actually paired a couple of outfits with one of my knee high boots that I bought from Nordstrom and I absolutely love. And so it looked really, really nice. But the first thing that caught my eye when I started adding all of these items to my cart was definitely the colors. The colors really stood out to me. Obviously I'm sure you've heard about it, but Red is having a moment um, this fall. So these deep, like moody, rich tones are really gonna be hot this season, this color, and also more of like a darker khaki green. Uh, you'll be seeing that a lot in the upcoming months. But this red, I think it's so beautiful and it just screams fall. And what I love about it is that if you are not ready to incorporate clothing that is this color, you can definitely start incorporating other items. Walmart also has some boots that are available that are like this color. You can start also incorporating accessories. There's a headband that I saw online. I believe that there was a purse as well. But again, don't be afraid of the color. I think it's just a really beautiful color for the season. So let's go ahead and get started with the first item, which is actually this dress, which yes, it's printed. And I know most of the time I go for like just solids but, and not color, but this one really stood out to me because of the houndstooth. I really love houndstooth, especially for the season. So this one has like a magenta and a red pattern. So if you can see right there, the color combination, I know sometimes looking at it online is a little bit different, but this is the color combination for this dress. This one also comes in a black. So again, if you're somebody that does not do prints, I think the black, you can definitely try. But what I really love about this dress is the, the way that it is styled. So you have like these almost like puffy sleeves over here, and then you have some ruching here in the front, and then it just kind of goes out into an A-line midi styled dress. But this is a really beautiful dress. The one thing I will say is, when you think you know your size, size down. So I went ahead and got the medium. As you can see here on the tag for the medium, it's an eight, 10. I'm usually a size six, at least that's what I think I am. <laughs> so I just automatically, again, being the first time that I did a Walmart haul, I figured, let me just go ahead and size up 
better than sizing down and it not fitting at all. But I feel like a small would have been a much better fit for me. So if you are a size six, four, I think a small is gonna be great. But the fit of this was just absolutely gorgeous. Another similar style that I have here is this one. This is another one that was just really, really beautiful. It was again, hard to see online, but when you see it up close, the color combination is like a very pale blue with an army green, like a dark green, which again, remember we talked about how that is going to be something that you're going to be seeing a lot of this season. So this kind of incorporates two colors, but it still has that green that's gonna be very prominent here in the fall. But I love this dress because of the cut, the high neckline, it's sleeveless, but it just falls so beautifully. What I also love about this dress is that it doesn't have a slit on the side. I'm sorry, like some dresses to me, when I see a slit on the side, it kind of dates an outfit, but this one has a slit on the back. So that's another like little detail that just elevates the look especially for it being walmart like you're like what walmart yes i'm telling you guys and it fits so beautifully the material is nice it's not see-through it just falls very elegantly and beautiful usually with these type of dresses especially if you get them like an amazon sometimes they just kind of fall and it doesn't give you much shape this gives you just the right amount of shape without being too constricting or too tight where you're going to feel uncomfortable but just a beautiful beautiful dress again the styling the cut the the print is elevated just absolutely gorgeous i got this one in a size medium and i would prefer to just keep it in the medium so again i'm a size six but i got this one the medium says it's an eight to ten but i think that this uh, if i would have gotten the small i think it would have been too tight where I would not feel comfortable and I wouldn't wear it. So the medium was definitely a, a beautiful, beautiful fit for me. Okay, next I have this dress from Free Assembly. This was another one that was very surprising. I thought that it was like gonna be a little bit too stuffy, but it was absolutely gorgeous. So I got this one in a size small and it comes in four different colors. So there's a white, there's a navy, and there's also like a khaki green, but I really like this one. This one's called Maroon Crush and it's just so beautiful. The bottom part of the dress is pleated. It has this cute little bow, and then it's kind of like just a button-down shirt up top, so definitely a great teacher's outfit or even workwear outfit. It's not too short either. Trust me, like whenever I see these short dresses, like I do the squat test, I do the pick up the pencil test, like I wanna make sure that I'm being modest. So whenever I tried this one on, I absolutely fell in love with it. It has a nice little like A-line, skirt detail so it's just a great great fit and again i got it in a size small and it fits perfectly it's just fitted to my body but it's not overbearing because it is a lot of material and it's all of one color so you want to make sure that you're getting something that is going to be fitted to your body and it's not too oversized now the good thing is that because there's a, vol a lot of volume here at the bottom you do have this uh, tie here at the waist to kind of cinch you in and give you a little bit of shape. So I actually paired this with the boots, but I really liked it with some like nude or clear heels. I think would look absolutely beautiful with this garment. Again, the material, very nice. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. So a great transitional piece from summer to fall. Just absolutely fell in love with this little dress. Okay, next up I have this denim dress. There was a couple of denim dresses that I saw online that really caught my eye. There was one that was kind of like the shirt dress I shared previously that it, it was a shirt dress. Um, and I thought that that was really cute, but this one really caught my eye. I actually, whenever I went to go get one of my orders from Walmart, I was there a little bit early. So <laughs> I hopped down and I just went to go see like what else you know, was in the women's fashion department. I'm sorry, I'm buttoning these uh, buttons. And I saw this one and luckily it was a, the size medium, which I'm looking for. But again, what I would say is that you need to size down, especially on this one, because there is a lot of fabric. Um, it is denim, so you don't want it to swallow your body. So again, if you're a size six like me, I think a small would be great for you. If you're a size four or a two, you might want to see if there's an extra small. So this one does run a little bit big. So this is like a nice denim. It's not stiff either, but it's not like a jegging, if that makes sense. So it's not like a 
cheapy jagging type, but it's like a nice material. And I love the fact that it has like this piping like all through the dress. So again, it's not just like a whole block of denim, like it kind of breaks it up a little bit. And I think it's really nice. Also the sleeves, I love that they're not like just tight on your arm they're they're a little bit more roomy so i love that about it just the material is just really nice that dark dark denim is denim is going to be hot this fall as well you're going to see it in denim shirts obviously denim jeans there's going to be denim accents and so why not get a denim dress but this one is absolutely gorgeous from free assembly really really pretty this is also another teacher's outfit or workwear outfit i just feel like dresses are such an easy throw on and go i mean you just got to make sure you get the right footwear and like you're set like you match head to toe but this one's just absolutely gorgeous really really cute and really well thought out with how they did the piping and the colored stitching here on the body but it's just absolutely beautiful dress okay i was going to move on to other garments but i only have one more dress so let's just go ahead and take a look at that last dress so it's this one from scoop so if you're looking for a sweater dress this is something that i would recommend so although it's cotton it's not as thick as most knitted dresses but I feel like a lot of the times when you Google like sweater dress, it's like the same type of style. It's usually like midi or maxi length. It's just like a column dress. It has the sleeves, but let's be honest, like at least here in the South, like it's not going to get cold until like December, January. Okay. So you're looking for a Thanksgiving outfit. I got you. It's this one. <laughs> this one's absolutely gorgeous. This is the color Rubert and it has two three other colors there's black there's a green and then there's a white this one is from scoop and i th just thought that it was such a beautiful dress again it looks so plain but just the way that the style is cut it looks really really pretty it has more of an a-line skirt down here and it's fitted up top obviously sleeveless you got your crew neck just a great like little sweater dress and again workwear appropriate teacher outfit appropriate this is another item that I was styling. I was playing around with wearing it with boots and then also with just some like clear heels and they both looked really, really nice. So I really loved, again, this color is just, anytime I see this color, I'm probably going to pick this color. So I got it here in a size medium. I don't think that I would size down. It might be a good idea to maybe try on the small to see like which one I like better. But I really kind of liked this medium right here. A lot of the times with sweater dresses, that's another article of clothing that I have trouble with because I don't want it to be super clingy on my body. But let's be honest, a lot of the times these sweater dresses cling to your body. So I like the fact that this is like just clingy up to here, up to the waist, and then it comes out a little bit. So if you are self-conscious like I am on your bottom half, then this one just kind of minimizes your bottom half, but it still has a nice little silhouette, but just a beautiful, beautiful dress to transition from summer to fall. Okay, I know I told you that was the last dress, but I have another dress, but it's a good one. Uh, this one right here, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more like edgy, or if you're looking like for a nice little party dress, I think you're going to love this one. So this is a strapless faux leather pleated dress. And when I put this on, I was like, what? This is from Walmart? So this is from the brand Scoop. And let me tell y'all, like, this is not what I used to see when I would, you know, go out into Walmart on my lunch breaks, okay? This is, this is just not the type of clothing that Walmart had. So I'm very happy that they're partnering up with these designers because they're doing something right. This one's absolutely beautiful. So I love this whole area right here, just like the, the bust area, the way that they have the stitching. It just kind of looks like what would you call it like not a bustier <laughs> we all know what a bustier is if you watch selena this is not a bustier but it's a bodice that's it bodice um i love the bodice here it just like looks so nice and then it comes out a little bit into a very minimal like a line skirt which it is pleated so it's just very uh upscale look for this dress but i really really love it they also have it in a brown this one is almost all gone so if you like it and the sizing is not available you might want to just go ahead and hit that notify me when it's restocked i have a feeling hopefully that they will restock this because 
This is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. So I did get a size medium in this one, and this is another one that I would recommend sizing down. So they do have a zipper here on the side. Which side? Yeah, it's on this side. And there are like the little gummy parts right here so it can kind of hold it up. But I still felt like if it was a little bit tighter, I would be a little bit more happy. So. In this case, I would size down from what your usual size would be. Again, I'm a six, so I'm assuming like this is not my size. I should have gotten a small, but again, first timer buying this uh, Walmart fashion. So now I know how kind of like the sizing runs, but absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Okay, now I'm done with the dresses. Okay, next up I have this cropped utility jacket from Free Assembly. I got it here in the size medium, and this is probably something that I would not size down. I would probably get medium or large when it comes to outerwear, just because you want to make sure that you have enough room to layer underneath. But this one is just like, kind of screams to me, like it's kind of like Carhartt. That's like the vibe I get, but it also, if you're not into this color, which I like it, I really like this, this like tan color, but they also have it in black. There's also this really, really pretty like black and um, brown Buffalo check um, style and it's really cute, but I would probably get this in the black just because I have a trench that I'm gonna share a little bit later that I, I like. <laughs> you know, you don't have to have every jacket the same color, so. But very, very warm. It does have the lining on the inside, so really nicely made. And yeah, if you're looking for like a nice little warm jacket, and obviously this is not something I would wear anytime soon. <laughs> it would have to be like 50 degrees outside, which we're not gonna get that until like January. Speaking of trench coats, I have this little cropped trench from free assembly so as you can see the color is like very similar so if i had to pick i would probably go with this crop trench so trench coats of course they're just a nice capsule wardrobe piece i talk about them in my capsule wardrobes all the time so if you're looking for a little bit more of a trendier style i think you'll really enjoy this crop style it fits a little bit more boxy but i think it looks really nice with like some straight leg jeans i got this one in the medium as well and i think it fits just fine i think the small would just be a little bit too constricting so i would keep just the medium but i just really like the way that it looks and it has like this almost tortoise shell type of buttons really pretty really nicely made and great material as well okay my next piece is this jacket now if you follow fashion influencers online chances are you probably saw this jacket and i have some thoughts so i immediately added to cart whenever i saw the color i think it's so beautiful this one is from scoop and i got it in a size medium which the fit the medium was was perfect but whenever i started trying this on my husband actually had gotten home for lunch and the first thing he said is it looks cheap and i kind of agree with him um i think if it was the color is beautiful he said the color is nice and he said that the fit was great it's just that when you put it on you start making noise and that is why he said it looks cheap because it sounds cheap so the material is not like paper thin but i think it's this shiny leather that is just throwing me off and obviously it's making the noise and the last thing like if i'm walking and my shoes are making noise like that's no you're done like <laughs> i can't i don't want to i don't want people to hear me coming so for that reason i am not liking this jacket i don't like it it had potential but i feel like if the faux leather was not as shiny i think maybe if they toned it down a little bit it would have been better or if maybe like whatever material is being used if they could not have that do you hear it just for that reason, this is not something that I'm gonna keep, just because I also feel like I'm not gonna get too much wear out of it. A lot of the times, and this is again, why I tend to stick to more classic, either silhouettes or classic colors or more capsule wardrobe pieces, just because I want something that's going to like give my wardrobe longevity. And a lot of these trendier pieces just will not do that. Even though they're more on the affordable side, this still does not mean that I want to just pack my closet with a bunch of stuff that I'm just not gonna wear for a very long time. Okay, next I have this top from Scoop. So I don't know why I didn't get a lot more tops, but just the dress is really kind of just like, I don't know, I guess it just jumped out at me. So I added a lot of dresses, but this top really caught my eye. I felt like it was really cute, like 
uh, just like a, a, it's not like a simple, like, like my little sweater tank here. It's like, it has a little interest to it with the piping. It has like, what would you call this? The crimpy, <laughs> the crimpy, um, you know what I'm, it's textured, it's textured. Okay. And then also, obviously it's that like dark burgundy that we, uh, already hit on that is going to be hot for fall. Um, but I also liked here at the bottom, if you can see like the detailing, it's just the, like small details that I feel like can really elevate a top. So really cute shirt. The only thing is I did get it in a size medium. I would recommend sizing down. So again, the medium and scoop they're recommending for size eight to 10. But again, being the first time that I ordered from Walmart fashion, I want, I wasn't sure like how it would fit. So I think sizing down would definitely, or, or definitely go by what they're recommending right here. And the reason is because of this material, I feel like I didn't fill it out enough. So if you're a little bit on the flatter side or you don't have much up top, I, I'm not sure how you are going to feel about this top, but if you're a little bit fuller, I think you'll really love this top. I think it'll fit beautifully. I am a 36 D or double D. Can't remember but I, I i felt like i wasn't filling it out enough so in my case i would get a small and c 